Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. When we talk about self-awareness, we really talk about our ability to look in the mirror and be honest with ourselves. And let's be candid, it can be very difficult. Now, in this coaching conversation series podcast, I've hit self-awareness a lot. Now, I want to share with you something that I just got um, this morning, an email from a soon-to-be ex-client, a person working at one of our client sites that gave her notice. And I said, oh, that's interesting. I said, I'm, I'm happy if you've made a decision good for you and your family. And I said, what, what can I do to assist you? And she said, you know, I, I just, um, I've appreciated everything you've done for me. And she said, I really learned a lot. I wanted to let you know that, which I thought was really, quite frankly, not only sweet, nice, professional, but um, really, quite frankly, made my day. And as our conversation and email exchange continued, what she started to tell me was, a lot of changes were coming. She had to learn new product lines, and she she was exhausted. And I said, okay, well, what are your plans? She said, well, I'm going to take some time off. Now, I'm going to give some insight to something. Um, my assumption is, you know, that they're not swimming in millions of dollars. And I said, oh, I said, oh, that's great. Everyone should be able to do that at some point. And I said, uh, is that going to be easy for you to do? She said, oh, no, we can't afford for me to do this. And I sat there and I thought, wow, how do I handle this? And so I responded back and I said, well, let me ask you a question. I said, how do you feel when you think about the stress or the financial anguish that that's going to potentially put on your shoulder? She goes, it really stresses me out. Big capital letters. It really stresses me out. Now, I'm in no way suggesting you should stay at a job that you don't like. What I'm suggesting, and she was a good employee, good leader, really took it seriously. And I sat there and I said, okay, well, what are you going to do? Have you started interviewing? She said, no. And I thought to myself, oh, I hope she's not thinking, well, this will be easy. Sure enough, I email her and I said, well, I, you know, I think you should start the process pretty quickly if this is going to add stress to your, to your shoulders. And she said, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get a job. And It just goes back to self-awareness. Be aware of the decision you're making. Now I'm going to introduce two other concepts we've talked about with self-awareness, resilience and reality. So as I started to exchange, you know, messages via email with her, I said, well, what if you stayed and you had a job that was, you know, close to, you know, becoming a reality and you had a smooth transition from where you're at to that job? She said, oh, that would make life a lot easier. And I get in big capital letters. Now that I'm writing this to you, that's what I should have done. Look, everybody, we all make decisions in a vacuum. A lot of times, you know, I ask people, you know, do you have a coach? Do you have a mentor? Do you have somebody that you can bounce ideas off of? It's corny. It's cliche, right? And most people don't have a personal coach. As I served that role for this young lady, I said, well, give some thought to it. Maybe what you could do is go back to HR and say, look, I'd like to prolong my two-week notice, give you a a two-month notice, and let me, you know, make this a smoother transition for all. And that'll buy you some time. Let you take a deep breath, reframe your relationship. And she said, well, I'm I'm not walking out on them. I said, well, no, now you might be giving them more time because this company is understaffed. 
So think about the concepts of self-awareness. When we make a big decision, have a coach. Now, are you being resilient? And by the way, are you dealing with your own reality? You know, one of the things I can't stand, and we probably all get caught up in watching these things, these reality TV shows, those things are not real, right? When you have people on reality shows getting paid huge sums of money, and we kind of watch these train wrecks of people, you know, go through life, and it's almost at our own enjoyment, but they get paid really good money to participate in a reality show that is not reality. <clears throat> My wife and I have talked for years. She w- loves to watch The Bachelorette and The Bachelor. And I said, think about it. Not once do you ever see somebody, a woman or a guy, there for the person that they're going to date, <clears throat> walk off the show and say, you know what? This person, this guy, this girl, it's not my type. Think about that. We all watch these shows and it's not really reality. So when you think about self-awareness and you're making a big decision, bounce it off somebody. Number two, are you dealing with your own reality? And number three, can you be resilient a little bit longer so that decision becomes a sound one? Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and, more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.